Hello, welcome to the Indie Ocean. This is Birth Order. I've done a written review of this not so long ago, but it's one of those things that's best seen in action, so here it is. It's kind of a horizontally scrolling shooter, but it also has odd board game and card elements. Skip this tutorial thing. The tutorial actually doesn't explain anything very useful, which is a little curious. Um, you have to guess a lot of the stuff as you go along, but it's not that hard to pick up. So you'll see here we're on kind of a board. The exact layout of the board seems to be um, randomized each time, which is nice. Because if you're playing Birth Order, you will play it a few times because it's quite hard. Or rather, it's occasionally hard. The difficulty is kind of erratic. So you pick a square or space. Each space is something different, different kind of level. This one is just free stars. Stars are basically experience points, but it's not clear what happens when you go up in level. Um, allegedly it increases your damage or something, but I've never noticed a difference. These things that look like dragons or similar are bosses. They drop the keys that we need to unlock that sealed off area on the right that apparently contains our brother. What our brother's done, and why he's sealed away, and why we're trying to get to him is unclear. But never mind, let's get on with the shooting stuff. Which colour do you fancy? I think yellow. So it's a desert level. This weird looking alien thing is us, obviously. And unlike pretty much any shooter I've ever played, it's basically a button matching game. Um, you shoot at enemies by pressing the appropriate button. So one's marked with A, you press A. With B, you press B. Oh god, that didn't go so well. Um, and your weapons shoot at them automatically. It's not just that you have to press that button to damage them. Um, that deals with the aiming and everything. So it's a little odd, but that leaves you free to focus on dodging incoming shots. Um, you'll also pick up cards, which hopefully, if I don't get killed in five seconds, you'll see quite soon. And they can be used between levels for mostly one-off upgrades. Some of them are permanent increases of one sort or another, but mostly they last for one level and give you some kind of boost. But we'll come back to that in a second. The enemies actually cover all the buttons as time goes on, but at this early stage it's just A and B. Um, so, this is actually trickier than it looks. You might think that not having to actually... there's a card. You might think that not having to actually aim at the enemies would make the game too easy, but it's very bullet hell-like in places. So, actually you do need to be able to divert all your attention to evading the enemy shots. Okay, we actually finished one. It always ends with a cry of game, which is slightly confusing. Uh, okay, cards. Shield will protect us from three hits for one level. Card Seeker. Seeker misspelt. Tut tut. Um, increases the chances of finding a card for one level. And that's just a miscellaneous warning about the effects of a shield. So, uh, we'll use a shield to protect us from three shots. And we'll go and tackle a boss, because why the hell not? And not only is the layout of the board randomised each time, but each specific level is randomised also. And this is nice in that it means you're not just replaying the same level over and over. Oh god, this isn't going to be good. Come on, come on. I usually like to get some more upgrades before I tackle a boss, but I wanted to show you. Uh, yes, wow. Come on, we can do this. Come on, come on. D don't take a hit. No, come on, quickly. Just go on. Bollocks. Um, <clears throat> fail, just in case I hadn't noticed. Um, but yeah, the, the randomization of the levels does mean that sometimes the first couple of levels will completely obliterate you because they're really hard. And other times they'll be quite easy. So it does have an unfortunate side effect in that respect. Let's use the card seeker to stock up on some more cards. Um, so if you like horizontal shooters, you might like this, 
or you might find its weird button matching thing a little off-putting. Personally, I quite like horizontally scrolling shooters, but I'm not hugely into them, so this has things that hold enough appeal for me to keep bringing me back. But I've never got very far into it and nowhere near finishing it. It's more the sort of game that I come back to for half an hour now and then. So anyway, this is Birth Order. If you like something that's a little bit different, but still fundamentally a shooty, blowing things up kind of game, maybe it'll be up your street. It's only 80 Microsoft points. As usual, thanks for watching, and I will see you the next time for more indie game-related stuff. See you then.